This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. Now that's how you make a statement. Oh, and that's some serious damage to the back of the neck. The Undertaker is a force within the ring. And his elbow finds the mark. Just an awesome shoulder tackle. Now it's Roman Reigns on his heels. Oh, man. But he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. His oh. shoulders are down. He tackles him to the ground. Oh, Roman Reigns unable to be contained. In the lead up to WrestleMania 34, we had no evidence of The Undertaker making an appearance, and despite desperate attempts by John Cena to bait him, the dead man remained in the darkness until the very last second. That's it! It's over! It's over! That'll make your heart beat. Oh boy, he is rolling! Recalling WrestleMania 34, Michael, you said The Undertaker waited till the last second. For a long time, we were left to wonder if we had seen the last of The Undertaker in a match. We wondered if John Cena would get away with not only questioning the mystique of the Phenom, but also questioning his manhood. But if his career has taught us anything, it's that the dead man will continue to emerge when we least expect it. Bravado made way for fear rather quickly inside of Cena once he heard that gong echo through New Orleans. Byron, right, let's say you're in there with Roman Reigns. What's your strategy to take down the big dog? Well, thankfully, I'm here next to you, Michael, and not in the ring with Reigns. But to answer your question, I would try to catch him by surprise. It definitely worked for Sheamus at Survivor Series in 2015. He escapes trouble there. Byron brought up Sheamus' victory over Roman Reigns in Survivor Series. But to be fair, we should point out that match happened because Sheamus cashed in his Money in the Bank contract. Hey, that strategy worked for Seth Rollins at WrestleMania just a few months earlier. But Brock Lesnar showed you can surprise Reigns in the middle of a match. Like when he plucked Roman out of a spear and into an F5 to beat the big dog in the main event of WrestleMania 34. Here we go, back inside the ring. For years, guys, the Intercontinental Championship somehow eluded Roman Reigns, but that all changed in November 2017 when the Big Dog defeated The Miz to capture the title. And not only did that victory over The Miz give Reigns the Intercontinental Championship, Michael, but it also made him a prestigious Grand Slam champion. He's making a statement here with this attack. Slam! I'm not sure how much he has left. Did you guys feel that too? As Saxton stated not too long ago, Reigns' Intercontinental Championship victory made him a Grand Slam champion. And the ironic thing is, the win came against The Miz, who's also a Grand Slam champion. Oh, wow, that's almost hard to believe, considering just how few superstars can call themselves Grand Slam champions. The Undertaker is not so... He gets the shoulder up in time. Wow. That's pure power, guys. Close line! Oh, that'll leave a mark. Drops the elbow on him. Oh, Roman Reigns saw that one coming. This is going to be big, one way or another. Uh 
Uh-oh. Watch out. Oh, no. Oh, a knee. Lights out. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Not uh -oh. the oh, my goodness. Crushing it. The Undertaker is the most powerful being in the history of sports entertainment. The world stood in shock at WrestleMania 30 when the Phenom's undefeated streak at WrestleMania was broken by Brock Lesnar. But somehow, after that crushing defeat, The Undertaker returned to WWE stronger than ever. I was calling the action at WrestleMania 30 and was just as stunned as everyone watching around the world when The Undertaker's streak came to a chilling end. It's amazing how The Undertaker's spirit became even more powerful. Undertaker's looking to end it. What an assault on Roman Reigns. The human body can only absorb so much of that. Undertaker's looking to end it. Oh, I can't believe he had the energy to kick out of that. He needs to change something fast, guys. Undertaker's looking to end it. Well, Roman first had dreams. He's got him covered. The Undertaker gets the win.